What's going on guys, TTL here. I'm uh, going to be going over my top three MLB plays today. Um, I'm going to be showing these on Underdog. A lot of these are available on prize picks as well. Some of them are available on, or most of them will be available on sports books as well. Um, just depends on where you're wanting to take these. But I do have three props for MLB that I love today. Today is Thursday, uh, April 18th, 2024. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the support on the videos. And really quick before we do get started, I do want to say, guys, if you guys are interested, if you sign up to VIP today on the 18th and we don't profit in VIP today, you will get your $20 refunded to you on whatever payment method you use on Patreon and you will keep your, uh, your access of the month for free. So just join the Patreon. I've already posted, I think, one prize pick slip, two underdog slips, um, a chalkboard slip. I'm about to post some better slips. And um, I'm really confident that we are going to profit today. I'm feeling really good about the props today. So there's only five or six MLB games today. We'll take a look in just a second. But um, I, I am feeling really good about the value that we are going to be able to secure today. I'm probably going to post two or three more slips throughout the day before these get started in the next four or five hours. But uh, definitely recommend taking advantage of that. Again, uh, you'll get your $20 refunded if we don't profit today. But feeling really good, guys. I'm um, going to give out three picks today and um, for free. And hopefully we can go 3-0. and Hopefully we can start a nice little heater for MLB. Uh, so far, April has been a slightly profitable month. Um, had a little bit of a shaky start. We, we did win like six days profit in a row. Had like two or three bad days after that. Went on another heater for four or five days. I think we're up probably, without actually knowing the exact stat, I would say probably around 24 units this month. So um, still a great profit month, but not as uh, fast paced as March was. March, we hit quite a few six picks. We were absolutely just demolishing it. But um, let's keep on crushing it, guys. Uh, thank you for all the support. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment, and hit that subscribe button if you're going to tell any of these picks. And uh, let's just get it started. So one of our top plays of the day is going to be Ryan Pepiot. And it looks like he's already taken down. I was going to say under two earned runs allowed. Now, a lot of people that are on sports books have been wanting me to continue saying what I was going to take. So on Pepiot, you can take under two and a half earned runs allowed. On underdog, we had it at two. On prize picks, this is up at two. Um, but on sports books, you'll be able to get two and a half. And let me go over why I like that. First of all, guys, I'm going to be using Outlier and DG Fantasy for my research. Outlier, use my link in the pinned comment for a free week. DG Fantasy, you can use the code. It's in the bottom left. Use code LIMIT. You get 25% off your first month. But um, we can take a look. Pepe is around minus 170, 175 on most sports books. And when we take a look at him, this season he's not been doing too hot. But overall, I really like this pick. In 2023, he went under this in two out of three games. He only started in three games. In 2024, he's played three games so far. He started, he's went under in one. He gave up four runs versus the Giants. He gave up six runs versus the Rangers. But I think that this is going to be a good matchup for him versus the Angels today. We can see overall, in 2023, he only had a 2.14 earn run per nine innings average. Um, so, I mean, I am really liking this. We can see um, the Angels batting versus right-handed pitchers. They have a terrible OBP, terrible slow percentage. Their average was .243 last year. Over the last 30, it's a .237. When we take a look at the bottom right, the Angels versus right-handed pitchers are just terrible, man. They have such high strikeout percentage. I don't think they're going to be able to get really on base today. And I'm really loving Ryan Pepia under two and a half earned runs. So go ahead and lock that one in, especially if you're on a sports book and this is still up. Or on prize picks, this should still be up at two as well. I like pairing this with two other picks. The first one is going to be Dansby Swanson under under 0.5 batter walk. It looks like this one's taken off too, guys. Um, but the reason I like that, I'll go over that still as well. Um, we take a look. Swanson. Under 0.5 walks. We can see this is around minus 140 on DraftKings. On most sports books, you'll find this for around minus 130, minus 140. Love it at that uh, at that point. Last season, he had 97 of 147 games that he didn't get walked, 66%. At home, 68%. In 2024, 
He's went under this in 12 of 18 games, 67%. And we can see um, he's only had one plate appearance um, in this matchup. He didn't get walked in that plate appearance, but that doesn't really say much. Overall, Swanson's been walked in six of 71 plate appearances this season thus far with an 8.5% walk percentage. Um, now, this season so far, AJ has walked quite a few batters. 58 batters he's went against. 14 he walked. 24% walk percentage. That's not normal for him, though. I don't expect him to... Uh, to uh, walk today and Swanson does have a 25.4% K rate as well so we do have to keep that in mind he's gonna swing at these uh, pitches and um, I really really like this play today Swanson under 0.5 batter walks this should come back up I think because the odds aren't too juiced on sports books so I think this will come back up and our third and final play of the day is gonna be Luis Reyes for pop up and we're going to take under 1.5 total bases. Now, this is a 0.9x now. We got it at even odds. But I still do like this at the 0.9x at the uh, minus 145, minus 150 odds that you'll find. We can see on DGF, Luis Reyes, under 1.5 total bases. Minus 136 on Pinnacle. Minus 148 on Caesars. Minus 150 on Fliff. And when we take a look at Lewis on Outlier. Wrong button. We can see under 1.5 bases. In 2023, he went under this in 54% of games, 58% of away games, and 54% um, in right-handed pitchers away games. 2024, he's went under this in 63% of games, 12 of 19. In away games, 50% versus right-handed pitchers, 56%. Um, when we take a look and we scroll down, we can see Reyes versus uh, Thailand. Eight. Plate appearances with a .250 average. He's had two hits, two total bases, and eight plate appearances. Um, and we can also see right here, 76 at-bats this season thus far with a .276 average. So he does have a worse average in this matchup than typical. I really, really like this today. Let's lock it in. Raise under 1.5 total bases. Um, that's pretty much it, though, guys. Again, we have Ryan Pepiot. Under two and a half earned runs allowed. That's going to be around minus 170 on whatever sports book you're on. We have Dansby Swanson under 0.5 batter walks. Again, that one's a uh, like minus 145, minus 140 on sports books. And then we have Lewis under 1.5 total bases. This one's at 0.9x on underdog, which is still fine. And it's around minus 145 ish on sports books as well. Those are the three props that I'm liking today, guys. Lock them in with confidence. Let's make some money today. Let's go 3-0. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button, guys. Again, if you sign up to VIP today and we don't profit, you are going to get that $20 refunded and you're going to keep your month of VIP. So definitely recommend it and let's make some profit.